It is the 14th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start on the comment with the rain radiation test I just put out the last video. Uh, I am currently repeating the test exactly as you saw it on video um, right now. So as soon as that alarm goes off, I will give you another total on the rain in the same location on the windshield. So uh, stay tuned, I guess. Let's go ahead and start over on the extinction protocol. SOT.net really doesn't have anything going on today. Uh, Greek submarine volcano near Santorini Island rattled by 3.2 magnitude earthquake. And they're having quite a cluster of earthquakes in this area. And it's uh, the submarine volcano whose peak rises just to the 18 meter below sea level is located on the tectonically active southwest northeast fault system. Uh, God, war drums going. Empire Strikes Back. Did Pakistani intelligence tip off Iran to U.S. drone flight plan? Shoot down our drones, will ya? Uh, scientists find a very large comet plunging towards the sun. And, uh, yeah, this is the comet Lovejoy. They say it's going to be one heck of a show. I can't wait to see the videos on it. Um, it's going to be too close to the sun to see... Uh, but it's supposedly it's supposed to be like the brightest comet flare that uh, we've ever seen, and uh, NASA's pretty excited about it. Uh, the economy stuff. Great winter retreat. Euro falls to 11-month low. More downgrades could be the final death blow of the euro. And the dominoes fall as planned. 6.0 magnitude earthquake reported near... Uh, Sulawesi, India. And that's about all new they have tonight. Uh, over to the watchers. Comet Lovejoy. Don't miss it. And again, um, could become as bright as Jupiter or Venus when it flames out. The glare of the sun will hide the event from human eyes. Solar observations in space, however, will have a grand view. And again, I look forward to the videos. Confirmed. Fukushima disaster contaminated ocean with 50 million times normal radiation. Leaks are still ongoing. Again, it's a huge radioactive tea bag uh, that is right on major currents in the Pacific Ocean. And the damage is ongoing. They're reporting, uh, I saw reports of, uh, they're finding seals in Alaska and then the north in the Arctic uh, with skin legions and uh, lung legions and uh, pretty much looks like radiation poisoning but they don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to be a bacteria. Uh, anyway, and uh, scientists at CERN in Geneva announced their latest results in the search for the Higgs boson. So they got the hydrogen collider, the great big collider going on and they're looking for the god particle. They think they might have found it. And two new tropical depressions form in the western Pacific. And dust storms over the Red Sea. Green sea turtles wash up in beaches on British, British Columbia. Over to the Ice Age now. Another Icelandic volcano springing to life? Question mark. Has Katla faked everyone out? Ask reader William Sellers. Is Hengill, the culprit, and Hengill's been having um, several earthquake spurts. It's it's uh, rumbling down there, but it hasn't been the last time. It's not the last time it erupted was like two thousand years ago. Uh, so it had some major activity back um, like early two thousand two thousand four, and they had like eighty thousand quakes within this four year period, and nothing really happened. So they're saying don't get excited too fast um, just, just like Katla, it's been rumbling all of Iceland's pretty much that way up to three feet of snow for Colorado and butter in Norway is almost five hundred dollars a pound an acute butter shortage in Norway has emptied store shelves that propelled prices through the roof and here goes that economy hyperinflation starting to kick in and some good news, Canada wises up, will withdraw from Kyoto Protocol. And over to the RSOE, they have quite a bit going on tonight. Of course, the terror attack in Belgium, uh, the grenades that were launched in the marketplace, flash flooding in New Zealand statewide as they get some severe weather. 
uh, got a nuclear event in Canada, New Brunswick. Uh, apparently they had a heavy water, radioactive heavy water spill uh, when they were refilling a tank. They said the spill was cleaned up right away and it really didn't pose any much threat to the public. Uh, flash floods in Zimbabwe, pretty extensive. Uh, landslides in Colombia due to torrential rains, they've just been ongoing and ongoing. F more flash flooding in Malaysia. Storm surge in Ireland, apparently they had the biggest wave on record, it was like 30 meters high. And that's, uh, what is it, some 90 foot wave, Jesus. Um, and they're saying it's due to these big gale force winds, these huge storms that are uh, still lined up to hit um, Ireland and England and into Europe later on this week. Again, extreme weather in the United Kingdom. Uh, they've been pretty much going nonstop with these really bad uh, storms. And that's about all new climate change wise. Over to the radiation stuff, uh, enenews.com. I got a report, famous Japanese women blogging about mysterious bruises. And uh, Japan nuclear expert blames U.S. for Fukushima. Shock, question mark. Major U.S. paper runs pro-nuke editorial claiming Fukushima survived the earthquake and tsunami. Says the U.S. should not close reliable U.S. nuclear plants. These are just these criminals. Uh, Russian expert, Fukushima situation is far from stabilizing. And of course we have three major reactors, um, again, making Chernobyl look like a little firecracker size reactors, melted through now, and uh, we're just waiting for it to hit a water stream or something. And here is the background that I've done. In the same spot that would make uh, the rain test at 237.1 count per minute so that means uh, definitely it's gone up a little bit again I am NOT an expert and do not take this as gospel um, but uh, you watched me do the test last time I just repeated the test and uh, take it or leave it uh, radiation levels in the rain here in Des Moines Iowa and countries throughout the Pacific region are concerned Fukushima radiation may damage coastal zones and affect people. Reuters government says biggest radiation dose was outside exclusion zone, 19 millisieverts average in uh, IITATE, maybe even higher. And may. Many in Fukushima exposed to radiation well above permitted level, new research shows. Survey did not look at eternal exposure, and these people are in a lot of trouble in Japan. Australia came within an inch of agreeing to store over 30% of the spent nuclear fuel, of the world's spent nuclear fuel. Europe is eyed next. Uh, and Japan expert, it was a nuclear explosion at reactor number three. I believe fuel rods were blown out of spent fuel, uh, of the spent fuel pool. And of course, we all saw the explosion that was reactor number three. And you got to remember those fuel pools were right above the reactors. So, and the explosion went huge up. So that tells me that through all that MOX fuel, that plutonium-based dirty fuel, uh, pretty much everywhere into the Pacific Ocean and uh, we are ongoing with that situation probably for the rest of our lives and many 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 lifetimes to go. Um, that is about all I have for you tonight. Again, um, if I've left anything out please let me know. Post your comments or you know link your videos below. Thank you for your support and uh, enjoy what you can everybody.